and uh, welcome back to another uh, vlog I guess, or motor vlog I don't, a video <laughs> welcome back to another video uh, we're riding with Brian today which we haven't ridden with him in a long 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 time only because he's been working a lot anyways we have quite the mission today um, oh whoops we have heard of a spot to go ride but we have never been there we heard this through the grapevine so it may not even be a real place but i had to get onto the google maps and search in the satellite view for at least 20 minutes and just kind of find what roads would lead in this general area supposedly it's like another farm for obviously dirt riders is like locals only but we don't really know where it is what it looks like how to get in there or what's there so hopefully we don't get lost but just in case i did bring my camel pack with water it's actually not that hot today it feels really really nice summer is coming to an end so this cool breeze that's coming through mm, 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 love it so while we are making a quick pit stop let's take a quick intermission to thank the sponsors of today's video which would be Voss helmets of course you see Ryan wearing the beautiful D2 Voss helmet the dual sport helmet he's got his Cena 30k on it he's looking good with a clear visor <laughs> Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, you forgot to peel off the uh, the plastic, Brian. What plastic? What do you mean, what plastic? Are you? What is the matter with you? Oh. Can oh. you see better now? Oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> but anyways, he's got the matte. No, sorry, not the matte. He's got the two tone, the two tone color one. I have the matte one, the matte black. Anyways, <clears throat> if you guys are looking for a great helmet at an even better price, make sure to go to vosshelmets.com slash girl and her bike you know i'm gonna put the link in the description as well as on the screen so you can see what the link looks like it's also on my website it's everywhere but yes if you guys want to match helmets with me also if you want to get the don't be a puss decal on the back like i have on mine which i'll show you a picture right now it is the ultimate combo let everybody know you were not a puss and just show it on your helmet especially them females a lot of girls have been buying this too so uh yeah everything is going to be linked in the description below um let's get on with it shall we uh are you done big boy are you done pump the gas big boy that this is the right place this is like a dog park i think we have to go like deeper inside so this place is pretty big it could literally take us hours to find it okay well i took us down nowhere I thought maybe this would take us down to a spot where everyone goes. I don't know. Woo! Doesn't really look like there's much. I mean, I guess I'd have to go find somebody who's previously been here that knows where it is and how to get there. All right, let's get to the top of this hill and then see if we can find something from up here, see something from up here. Let's have a looky-loo here maybe it's right here you see these little trails right here and you see those little trails on the side of the mountain maybe it's this i don't know let's go see oh my goodness gracious this is so sketchy on a mini i don't know why but it just is oh gosh these little bumps are so deep oh! <laughs> losing a little bit of control Okay, we're good. We are good! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I'm getting bucked out of my seat. 
All right, I think this, I think it's safe to say this may be it. Like these may be the trails they've been talking about. What the? How would you pass this on a little dirt bike? Uh, okay. Oh! I never knew this was back here. And I mean, even if not on the dirt bike, on the mini, this is actually still pretty fun. I'll probably come back here when I have more time to explore. <laughs> All right, now we got that out of the way. Let's go up here and see if we can scope anything out. I thought this was gonna be like a straight shot up this little hill. Where am I right now? I feel like we've been down here for a while, so we're gonna head back, sort of, just kind of ride, continue riding, looking around, exploring, but also back in the general direction that we came from. Well, at least I kind of found the spot. At least I know how to at least get here, but I don't know anything else. So. <laughs> we are catching fire. Yeah, I know I had it, but then my foot slipped off the rear brake. Thinking you're going slow, what hurts? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like my left leg hurts a little bit. Uh, look at that. There's a bit of a tear there, but it did not go through the Kevlar, which is great. Uh. <laughs> Oh god, I'm in pain. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> this hurts. It looks like it hurts. <laughs> I, I watch people crash on minis all the time and they're just, it's such a light crash and they're never hurt. Why am I hurt right now? Why? Uh, uh, okay, I mean, that, I think that's a pretty good track record. That's the first time I've ever crashed on this channel. <laughs> and I've been on this channel for, I don't know, more than a year, more than two years. Okay, I just want to check in and let everybody know that I am okay. My leg is not broken. I do not have any road rash. Thanks, 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 thanks to these ugly bros Kevlar jeans, which uh, you guys should probably buy a pair because, I mean, <laughs> I... It was a pretty painful crash and I'm not dead. So that obviously I'm wearing my boss helmet. Brian is too, but he didn't crash. Surprisingly. Usually Brian crashes. What the heck? What happened? Don't <laughs> But uh with that said, um thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video. I am going to go eat and then go home and take some Tylenol because it's a little achy. It's not in pain, but it just aches. It's a little sore. I obviously crashed and we all thought it was fine. I played it off like I was fine because I was fine until I got home and then hours later and then now it's the next day and I don't think I'm fine. So then I went to the doctor and it turns out I have here, hold on, something. Okay, I can't read this. It's like really messy handwriting, but doctor's handwriting but I have something collateral ligament strain, which means in my knee, this left knee right here, here's the cap. I pulled a muscle or a ligament right in there, which means right now I can't exactly bend it. Um, I can still walk on it sort of, but I can't tilt my knee in, if that makes sense. I'll show you with my right knee. So I can stand, but I can't bend my knee or go in like this. 
I'll actually slow-mo the video so you can kind of see when I landed, how I landed, and why I pulled that, or I mean I ripped that ligament. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be able to figure something out because I know we got races coming up really soon for the big six. Um, I'm going to see if I can maybe do, um, I don't know, maybe get like some knee braces or something so that I can kind of protect that knee while I race out there because I'm not going to miss it. But also, the doctor did say that it would take about two to three weeks to heal and I have to do, I guess, some at-home physical therapy. That's the update. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I'm saying anymore, so I guess we'll just, uh, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just clap it through. I roll out in the morning light with that Harley